everyone this is C Harshita so today I'm here to discuss about DIY calculator using Arduino keypad and display so keypad I'm using a normal 4x4 keypad and for display I'm using uh, an LCD screen so this is my code that I have written in my Arduino app now I'm going to simulate my circuit using online website tinkercad.com so this is the circuit that I have made I'll start with the components that I have used so I have used a keypad 4x4 size later I am using a LCD 16 by 2 which is which means 16 columns and 2 rows and then an Arduino Uno board very simple connections uh, I'll start with the keypad connections so here uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 are the basic connections of the keypad we have 8 connections for a keypad four related to rows as you can see row 1 row 2 row 3 row 4 are connected to 7 6 5 4 and column 1 column 2 column 3 column 4 are connected to 3 2 1 0 respectively then comes the LCD connections now I have connected DB4567 pins to 8 9 10 11 pins so db4 5 6 7 are connected to 11 10 9 8 pins respectively and then i have connected my 12th port to enable and rs to 13th port 13th port to rs and 12th port to enable now these are done and now we have to ground the terminals and also give the power supply so for that We'll start with uh, both the LEDs. Uh, one LED, I have connected a basic resistor of 1 kilo ohm and connected it to the ground. Later, uh, VO and ground ports are also connected to the ground. And I have short circuited both RW and VO, so I, I want them to be grounded. Now, ends are grounding terminals. VCC and LED, uh, I have short circuited them and connected to the common 5 volts power supply. So, this is my circuit I have constructed. So, I have already written my code and copied it here. So, I have initialized keypad library, wire.h library for connecting my wires between Arduino Uno board and LCD like this, and liquid crystal.h for using an LCD display. Now I am initializing the pins that I am using for LCD connections on the Arduino Uno board like 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. So I am initializing these pins. Now I am declaring the three variables first, second and total because I need two numbers that is first number and second number and I want to find uh, or calculate the total of both the operands. So again, I'm declaring other three variables, custom key, byte, rows, byte, columns. Con these are constants, um, both of them, rows and columns, because they are four and four. I have four rows and four columns that will never change in my entire code. So th those are global constants. And I've created a character uh, custom key variable. Now I'm initializing a two-dimensional array named keys with the characters in it so this will this basically reflects my calculator that I am using here with 4 by 4 keypad so 1 2 3 plus 4 5 6 minus that means a is plus b is minus c is into d is division and star I have clear uh, I have kept c to clear my calculator and hash is equal to now uh, as I am connecting my keypad to the Arduino board I am also initializing my byte row pins and byte column pins as an array you can also initialize them individually so 7, 6, 5, 4 are connected to the row pins and uh, 3, 2, 1, 0 are connected to the column pins so that is what I have initialized here then I am creating a keyboard uh, and an object keypad custom keypad so keypad make key map keys row pins column pins rows and columns so this will initialize my keypad now void setup i'm starting lcd dot begin 16 comma 2 so uh, this initializes my lcd and then i have given a short for loop i is equals to 0 until and unless it is less than 3 my i will get incremented and then i'm setting my cursor to 0 comma 0 and i'm displaying a basic calculator on my lcd then I am setting the cursor to the second row. 0, 1 means the second row of my LCD and enter numbers. I am printing enter numbers. Then I am giving a delay of 4000 nanoseconds and I am clearing it. LCD dot 
clear will clear my LCD screen whatever is getting printed. Later uh, I am setting my cursor to 0 comma 0 which is first position again. So I am displaying calculated enter numbers on my LCD screen and I am clearing them within a span of 4000 nanoseconds. Then at void loop I am declaring a custom key is equal to custom keypad dot get key. This get key function will help me reading values on the keyboard and display them on the LCD. As we connected here, I am using a switch uh, statement for custom key. So, uh, my case values will be 0 to 9. Because I can enter a single digit number, I can enter a, a two digit number, n number of digits can be entered here. So, uh, until and unless you press an operand like plus minus multiplication divided by, your values will be read as the first number. So, I am setting my cursor to 0, 0 and reading my first uh, variable. So, first is equal to first into 10 plus custom key minus 0. Now, I am printing my first number on LCD and taking a break. Now, you, for a basic calculator, we will read the first number, then an operation, plus, minus, multiplication, division, anything, and then we will read the second number. So, as we already finished reading first number, now we will write the code for operands like plus, minus, multiplication, division. So, first, I am giving in condition statement, first is equal to, if total not is equal to 0, if total not is equal to 0, and then I am assigning total value to the first or the first value to the first. Now, I am printing LCD dot print plus. When I am using this case plus, I will uh, this will be an addition, so plus will be displayed. Now, we will read the second number using a function call. Second number is a function call that we are using. We will go, uh, whenever I use this function call, this will directly jump to the function definition which I have given in the last. So, this is a function definition for the second number function call. We'll uh, look at it at the end. Now, uh, let us put like a function call itself. Now, total is equal to first plus second. As we already given first number and the operation that we chose is addition, it's plus. And we are reading the second number from a function called second number. So, our total becomes first plus second and that will be printed on 0, 0,3 which is third row or uh, basically as it is 16 by 2, it will be displayed on the second row. Now, I'm printing lcd.print total. After uh, displaying the total value, I need to be ready for the next calculation to be done. So, I am initializing both my first and second values as 0, preset the values to 0 and start the next calculation. If my operand is chosen is minus, then the same condition I am using first is equal to, if total not is equal to 0, then total will be assigned to through the variable first or first will be assigned to the first. Now, I am printing minus on my LCD screen and I am reading my second number from a function call. Now the total will be first minus second because I chose subtraction as my case. So my operand is minus. So now I am subtracting both the numbers and displaying the total on the LCD and I am again reinitializing all the variables with zero and taking a break. And if that is my multiplication, the conditions will be same. Reading the second number will be same, but the total value will be first into second as it is multiplication. Now I'll display the total on my LCD display and initialize first and second as zeros again and take a break. And it is a bit different for division because whenever we give the second number for division that shouldn't be a zero. If that is zero the total value becomes undefined. So uh, I'm reading I'm uh, in initializing a condition for the first later I'm printing division on my LCD then I'm reading my second number with the function call now, I am giving an extra condition here if second is equal to 0. If the second number is 0, then I will print LCD uh, print as invalid. Otherwise, if it is not a 0, I will print uh, total number is equal to float first by float second, which is division between two numbers. So, first number divided by second number. So, if my second is equal to 0, then I am printing lcd.print invalid. Otherwise, total is equal to float first plus float, uh, float first divided by float second, which means a normal division. So, uh, again, I will just print the total on my LCD and initialize both of them with 0 second and take a break. Here, I have given an extra character C in my array, which means clear I said. So, uh, we need to write the code for clear. If uh, in a case variable, if we have entered a C, then total is equal to 0 and LCD dot clear. This clears my total LCD display. So, C will be clearing all my 
values on my display. Now, as we have used a function called second number, we will write the function definition of the second number and end our code. So while one custom key is equal to custom keypad dot get key. This get key as we read our first number using this get key function, same we will be reading our second uh, number also with this function. So I have given a condition here if my custom key is greater than zero and less than nine, that means my number which is getting uh, uh, read by get key function should lie between zero to nine. Now it can be of any digits, but that each digit should be between 0 to 9 because on the keypad we'll take that, that as input. Now my second number is equal to second into 10 plus custom key minus 0. Now I'm setting my LCD uh, cursor at 7 comma 0. That means in the seventh column of the first row. You can also comment these lines to get the continuous uh, display and print uh, second this prints my second number so if custom key is equal to zero then break then return second number so uh, if uh, whenever we get this function call that will come here and execute all the statements and just return to the uh, case uh, variable where we are initiating it so this is how the code is and now i am starting the simulation for this, I'll keep this uh, two-dimensional array aside to understand whether what uh, operation that we are doing. Now, uh, I am going to uh, enter 9, 8, and then uh, B. Uh, I am using a subtraction minus. B is for minus. Now, uh, now uh, this is our first number 98 and minus is the operation that I have used. I will enter 1, 0, 0. So 98 minus 100. As I have set my cursor to 7, it is uh, initializing at this point. If you comment that line, the uh, output will be continuous. Now uh, equal to is our hash. So I am using hash to end my uh, calculation and that uh, shows minus 2. So I am printing my answer in the second row minus 2.00. My total is of double, double uh, data type. So it is uh, displaying it in decimals 0 0.00. Now uh, I have used here C for clearing my LCD display. So I am putting star that will get cleared. Now a basic operation 9 into I will multiply it with Okay, multiplication is C. Now I'll put C in between which reads as star. Now I'll multiply it with 1 or 11. Then hash for equal to, it shows 99.00. So this is how we can build a calculator. When you comment that line as set cursor 7 comma 0, a second number will also be uh, displayed in the same line. So this is how my calculator works. Thank you.